Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Art FX Obi Wan Kenobi 1 7 scale statue from Kotobukiya. Now, I've already taken a look at several of Kotobukiya's amazingly cool Art FX pieces, and this brand new Obi Wan Kenobi is no exception. It is just as awesome as everything I've already taken a look at. So, why don't we go ahead and dive right in and see exactly what's inside this box? So first of all, before we pop it open, the box is the standard style art FX box that you've seen in all of Kotobukiya's Star Wars lines. It's the same black piece with the statue displayed right there on the front. And then the back of the box gives us a look at the uh, character along with a little bio on the character and then shows off some of the many different display options of the figure within. So that's what's going on on the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open so we can see exactly what's on the inside. All right, so as you can see, just like with all of Kotobukiya's artifact statues, it does come in multiple pieces, and it is a snap-together model kit. So it's not something that requires any gluing, no painting, nothing like that. It's very easy to put this thing together. Now, just in case you need the assistance, it does include a set of instructions with lots of pictures, so it's very easy to figure out how to put it together if you need that little extra help. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in the actual set here. So we've got a display stand, which has got that cool Death Star type look to it. It's got some really nice shading on it, but it's mostly just grays with some lines. And then you can see the two peg spots right there on the display base, which is where the actual statue will stand. So let's put him together so you can see exactly how he fits. Snap the feet into the base here. Now one thing that's really great about the Kotobukiya models, or the, the statues that they do, they're all made of like a, a softer plastic, and they do all fit together, but they fit together nice and firm. So it's real easy to put them together, but they are very, very, very sturdy. So you don't have to worry about them being wobbly or loose or falling over or anything like that. Once you get them locked in there, they are tightly locked. It's really great. All right, and you can see the peg holes for the arms there to snap in. We'll snap in the lightsaber arm there. Now, one of the things that is always really cool that Kotoboki also does is they usually give you multiple display options. Uh, for Obi-Wan here, we have the option of displaying him with his hood down or his hood up. So it's kind of a cool little feature here. Uh, both of the hoods just have little pegs that just snap onto the shoulders. So we get that on there. And then the lightsaber, it's uh, the nice translucent blue plastic piece. There's a hole at the end of the hilt in his hand. Saber plugs right in and we have got a beautiful display piece. It's fantastic looking. Now. This is based on Obi-Wan Kenobi as he appeared in A New Hope. It's not necessarily a pose taken directly from the films. It is kind of a, an interpreted battle pose done by the artist at Kota Bokia. So it's not something ripped right out of the screen, but it's still a really, really, really cool display piece. You've got Obi-Wan kind of standing in a lightsaber, battle-ready pose, ready to do duels with uh, Darth Vader right there on the bridge of the Death Star. amazing amount of work that actually went into this thing. A lot of really great details here. Specifically what I want to talk about is the sculpt of the head. Now a lot of the other statues I've taken a look at have all been things like Boba Fett, Darth Vader, the Clone Troopers, Commander Cody. All of those are helmeted pieces. This is the first piece I've personally looked at that's got an actual human face sculpt. So you can really see how the artists at Kota Bokia have really outdone themselves because the sculpt is amazing. The likeness is very good likeness to Alec Guinness and it's got a really great paint job with some awesome shading. You can see the great shading in the hair there to kind of make it stand out and uh, just the little details on his face, all the little wrinkles around his eyes and everything. It's a really cool, really cool face sculpt. I'm actually a big fan of it. And like I said, it's a pretty terrific likeness of the actor that played Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Now, like I said, the display options are pretty sweet because you can get them posed here with the hood down, which looks really cool. Uh, but I actually even prefer it if we do the hood up pose. So we can just swap that on there. And then we've got the Jedi Master wearing his Jedi robe with the hood on. Very cool. And it's just a really, really nice looking display. And the details are terrific, not just in the face sculpt. You look at the robes and you can see all of the cool little folds and creases going in the robes. Uh, the way the hood looks when it's up and when it's down looks very lifelike, like it's really resting on his head or laying down his back there. All of the little details sculpted in to the actual robe he's wearing underneath the Jedi robe. Uh, the textures that are in the skirt piece and everything are all really nicely done. And it's a terrific paint job, too. There's a lot of life in this little statue, and I think that's what I like about it quite a bit. It's very lifelike. It's got a lot of emotion in it. It's not just a static, you know, lifeless piece. Like, there's some serious emotion going on with the stance and the look in his face. It's really cool. Now, there's even more we can do to make this stand out even more than it already does because this does feature a light up mechanism on the inside. So in order to do that, the battery compartment is actually housed in the right arm that's holding the lightsaber. And it does include three small button cell batteries that you can install yourself. So you pop those little batteries in and you put on this tiny little battery cover. Definitely want to make sure you don't lose those little pieces. And then you can see there's a small black switch right here on the arm. So when you flip the switch, that actually activates this really bright blue LED light that is inside the hilt of the lightsaber. So once you get that turned on, you can just slide the arm piece back in and you attach the saber into it and you've got a nice brightly glowing blue lightsaber on your Obi-Wan Kenobi statue. And it is really cool looking because this is a very bright display piece. Even under these bright lights, you can see how much this lightsaber is glowing. But I'll tell you what, you tone the lights down a little bit, get him standing in the dark, you've got that awesome bright blue glowing into his face. You've got just the, the look of the light in the saber looks like it's an actual ignited saber from the films when you've got him displayed in the dark. It's really impressive how bright and how cool that looks. So it's definitely a new added element to the display piece for this Obi-Wan Kenobi. So if you really want to impress your friends, you got this guy on your shelf, you got some friends coming over, to flip on that lightsaber light really makes this piece stand out even more than it already does. So there you go guys, that's my look at the 1-7 scale Artifex Obi-Wan Kenobi from Kota Bokia. It's another fantastic piece, and if you are a Star Wars fan, it's another one that I would highly recommend checking out for yourself. For more information on Kota Bokia and their products, visit them on their website at www.kotous.com and follow them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time.